Hey, you're not helping me very much, Jess. Can't you see them? They're everywhere. Mom, I'm trying to keep aliens away from the garden. How could you be gardening when aliens are attacking? <laughs> well, thank you. You know, now that I think of it, you have been a very big help because I, I barely see any aliens at all now. I got them all, Mom. Come here. Thank you. Mom! What, we can't hug you anymore? Is that what this is? I don't want a laser man, Mom. I can't let my Oh, yeah. We wouldn't want that, laser man. I like our old house. Why did we have to move? Well, we're a family now. Me, you, Liam, and Thomas. And our old house wasn't big enough for all the new memories we're gonna make here. What, do you think they're gonna like it? They're gonna love it. I like Thomas, Mom. He's nice. <laughs> <gasps> I think I see an alien over there. Yep, by the table. Get it. <laughs> Got it? Good. Thank you. That one over there. Thank you. Right, buddy? Hey, sport, I know this seems like we're going really fast, but this is our life now, you know? And, and look at the good stuff. You're gonna be closer to Uncle Nick, new school, new kids. So I really want you to, you know, take it easy on these guys, okay? You know, Liam, the first rule of family knots is all about communication. So. Dad, I know the family knots. Right. I've heard it a hundred times. I just, I just want you to take it easy, okay? Thanks, buddy. Do me a favor, okay? Just try to be nice. I think they're here! Hi, Thomas. Jesse, how are you, man? I'm good, how are you? Good. So nice to see you. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you? This is Levy. Wow. Oh. I've been extremely lonely living in this big brand spanking new house all alone, <laughs> longing for Mr. Levy to join me. I bet. And anxiously waiting for another sweet little boy to join us. <clears throat> Hi, Liam. Hello, Christina. Welcome home. <laughs> so, uh, why don't we go inside? See the work that Christina's done. Why don't you lead huh? the way, laser man? Come on. Come on. Come on, you guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is it. Now, I haven't finished unpacking everything yet, but our bedrooms and the living room and our bathrooms are just about done. This is great. <laughs> and you should see our room. Our room? Dad, did he just say our room? You didn't tell him that they were sharing a room? Didn't really get around to that yet. We really need to have a talk. One second. Honey, there's actually something I need to tell you. Tell me what? Two things, really, and this <laughs> might be number one. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, <laughs> Paula Preston. I am the precinct president of the Plantation Pines Neighborhood Association, and we are pleased as punch to welcome you to this neighborhood. Oh, a pecan pie. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I personally prepared it myself. <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Preston. Uh, Ms. Preston, actually. Uh, it's a first prize winner at the Pacey's Picnic for presentation. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, th this is my, my wife, Christina, Hi. and our boys, Jesse and Liam. Oh, well, pleased to meet you. Oh, well, uh, it's my pleasure, I'm sure. This pie looks delicious. Uh, perhaps we could share recipes someday. Perhaps. Oh, you know, something just popped into the old pumpkin. Oh, I did it, really. The old pumpkin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, plum pudding. <laughs> I can pass by 
preferably Thursday prior to 12 p.m., and then we can trade recipes over plum pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a date. <laughs> I thought you were going to say plan. It was um, very nice to meet you, oh. and, and thank you so much for the pie. Oh. Boys, say goodbye. Peace. Oh. oh. Peace. <laughs> it's such a pleasure. Enjoy the pecan pie. Very nice to meet you. Oh, pleasantly Thank wonderful. You. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Was that your surprise? Not exactly. <laughs> Are you expecting someone else? Hey. Uncle Nick! Whoa, don't come any further. Nick? Hey, sis. Is this what you wanted to talk to me about? Not exactly. Look what Uncle Nicky got you guys as a housewarming gift. <laughs> a dog that is so cool! Look at his legs! You know what's funny? You look funny. Do not. Do so. Not so. Boys, so, 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 boys, so, 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 so. this is enough. A word, Mr. Levy? Cute, huh? Yeah. I suppose you're wondering <clears throat> why we're here. I'm Donald. Yes, we've met. I'm Donald. Yes, I know. When was the last time you saw this dog? Whoa. What happened to your arm? Oh, he got attacked no, by a dog. I wasn't attacked. It wasn't oh, you got it. No, I had it under control. It was real bad. No, 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 I was uh, under control. Look, you're a dog. We need to find your dog. And who are you again? That's Jim. Yeah. Ass, I've told you, I am Dale. Oh, Jim. Yes. Jim makes an amazing curry salad. So good. Yummy. Yeah, yummy. Salad is good. Yeah. For the soul. I am Dale Hooger of the FBDI, Federal Bureau of Dog Investigations. And this is my colleague, Zowie. Howie. He Howie, the mage. he's a local dog catcher. <clears throat> uh, Donald, <laughs> I've known you for over ten years. Yeah, we were in uh, we were in 4-H together. Oh yes, my dog. Oh no, I've never had a dog. No dog. This picture was taken by a security camera at the scene of a large fire at a chemical testing facility. In said picture, with said dog, is a collar that had your information on it. Now, we need to find this dog. It is a matter of national security. Come on, they love him. <laughs> I thought it was help them bond, you know? It, 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 you thought it was, a, it's a good what? idea. So what, it's fine now? What? Fighting. Come on, look at him. Mom and Dad used to do all the time. I wish someone would stop them from fighting. He's just a little dog, Christina. But if you don't want them to have him, I mean, I will totally tell him. I mean, we are a team. I will support you 100%. You are not going to make me to be the bad guy here. Well, then, I mean, what do you want me to do? All right, all right, fine. Look, we'll see how it goes, all right? This is just temporary. Promise. Look, he's coming over here. Uh, I don't think the dog should be in the house, okay? It doesn't look like a house dog to me. Yeah, look at him. He's, he's basically trained. I mean, that is where I found him. Found him? Where did you find him, Nick? In a house. In my house. It's actually kind of funny. I, after we hung up the phone and you said you wanted to... Well, he was right there in my living room. How'd he get in your house? <laughs> Why is he looking at me? He likes you. Probably thinks you're cute. <gasps> oh, I, I've never owned a dog. No. Wait. I remember that collar. I gave that collar to a friend of mine. Oh yeah. <laughs> that yeah, was I a remember the collar time too. Ago. Yeah. Was this friend of yours a dog? Yes. Oh, but he would never hurt anyone. Oh no, he was a righteous dude. Very righteous. 
And when was the last time you saw this dog friend? Hmm. What is the date? Five o'clock. 17th. Oh, and the date. Oh, it's Friday, Mr. Sankey. Friday the 17th. The 17th. Uh, so, uh, 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 when was it that you saw your dog last again? The 14th. 14th. Could be important. Better jot that down, Wowie. No. Yes. Of May. 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 Yes. May. What do you mean, May? What does he mean, May? Mm. Maybe. May 14th. 2008. That was a good year. I remember like it was yesterday. That was a good year. That was a really good year. Leg of land. I remember that. Um, is there anything else that you guys want to tell us? Uh, like, uh, for example, uh, the dog's name or anything. Uh, distinguishing markings. Uh, anything that would help us find him. He has dog hair. It's, That's yeah. important. Uh, do you have any idea where he might have gone five years ago? Has anyone else contacted you from said caller? No. Ooh. Wait, no to not no knowing from where he went? contacted you or before, no or to no one from the last contacting from you before? Yes. Okay, well, uh, thank you, uh, Miss Sankey. Uh, <laughs> Um, yes, thank you. Oh, right. Okay. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, wait, there's one more thing. What? what? Well, he detests dog food. Just hates it. Wait, he knows that he hates uh, dog food, but he can't tell us the dog's name. Oh, and he likes the coffee black. No sugar, because sugar is bad for you. And, yes. Very bad for dogs and humans. And he's special. He's very special. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, we know how special the dog is. Oh. Oh, and he's wearing socks. Socks. <clears throat> Could be important. Write that down while we. Could be important. <clears throat> well, ladies, thank you very much, you know. And next time, I promise I will make you some tea. Can't wait. Better go to the bathroom. That got my stomach all riled well, she's up. She's a few cards short of a full deck, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. She's the closest contact we have to the nation's most wanted aminal criminal. <clears throat> you better hope we find that dog, or you're going to be looking for a job soon, friend. Well, how do we find him? <sighs> I've been searching for that canine for over seven years. I know how he works. He will not outsmart me. Yeah, go get him, Sherlock. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> All right, it was kind of funny. And you have to admit, you looked a bit like a fire hydrant, so you can't really blame the guy. Stop. You know what? I'm serious. You really should have talked to me first. That's all I'm saying. I just wanted it to be a surprise for you and the boys. I mean, if, if I thought it was going to be a problem, I wouldn't have had Nick get him in the first place. you got to believe me. Of course I believe you. So, what, is this what you wanted to talk to me about? Not exactly. Look, whatever it is, I'm with you 100%, okay? As long as we can finally start our lives together. I've missed you. Yeah. What is this? That is actually what I wanted to talk to you about. Thomas? I, I'm going away to San Francisco. Just oh, for a week. I, I'll on. be three hours away. A week? You've got to understand. The, the Family Knots Counseling Center is opening. What's it gonna look like if, if the founder and creator of the fastest growing family counseling plan is, is, is not there? The investors will, I mean, the investors are gonna go nuts. This is the biggest thing to happen to this company. 
Since it started, I can't miss this opportunity. You said it might not happen, though. I, I said it might not. But I also said it might. And I might get to speak in front of 2,000 clinical psychology students at Berkeley. I can't miss out on this. Thomas, we've been married for a week, and I've hardly seen you. I know. I'll make it up to you. Promise. A promise. Mm -hmm. Can't you let Nick handle some of the opening? That way you won't be gone for so long? Would you let Nick handle the opening? No. <laughs> exactly. We will pick up every stray dog. We will talk to every dog owner who's in the city until we find that criminal canine. No one will get past us. We will talk to everyone who's ever stepped in dog poop, everyone who's ever been bitten by a flea. That's how we will find him. That's why I am numero uno at the FBDI. I see everything. You cannot. <laughs> the only thing special around here is you. For once, Howard, I agree with you. To San Francisco? Yeah, it'll be fun. Why? There's nothing fun about driving to San Francisco. Uh, I don't want the dog on the couch. Sweetheart, relax. It's not a big deal. So what do you decide, guys? We need you to be the tiebreaker. You mean, you want us to be the tiebreaker? <sighs> Whatever. I want to name him the awesome name of Turbo. I told you. He doesn't like that name. I say we name him Turtle. <laughs> that name is horrible. It's not horrible. It is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Not. Is. Not. Is. Boys, it? boys, boys, that's enough, okay? Guys, you're not thinking his name through. I mean, look at him. His name should be obvious. Yeah. I mean, it's gotta be something special. I mean, it's gotta have a, a, a meaning, something behind it. Exactly. I mean, look at him. He doesn't look like a, a spot or a snowball or a... He can't have a a regular dog's name. No, it's got to be something that has meaning. And purpose. The dog's His name, name should be... be... Come on, guys. Socks. <laughs> What's it going to be? Socks. Socks. They look like boots to me, but I kind of like socks. No, mm. but socks with an X. Perfect. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Socks? <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes it. It's a good idea, Liam. I thought you said it first. Well, it wasn't me. But, you know, sometimes it's just the best ideas right out of thin air. Hey, I like it. Mom, what do you think? Why not? Welcome home, Socks. <laughs> <laughs> I found the dog I was looking for. <laughs> mm. Look, man, how long do we have to keep doing this? Okay, we already put up bulletins and search of the pound. We search for the dog as long as it takes to find the dog. That's how long we search for the dog. But any one of these dogs could be him. Look, why don't we just ask people, like I said earlier. What on earth are you doing? If you want to find a dog, you've got to think like a dog. I'm smelling the air. We don't need to talk to these humans. I'll know the dog when I see the dog. I will smell the dog when I smell the dog. Oh, really? Yes, really. This dog is a criminal mastermind. We've had some runners before, but he's always managed to evade me. <clears throat> Sometimes, when I smell other dogs, I can smell the scent of that dog on those dogs. He will be mine. There. There. <laughs> <laughs>
There. That dog. That dog knows something. Oh. Oh, what? The poodle? No, no. Over. Oh, the greyhound. No, no. Whoa. What? Higher. Oh, uh, the Great Dane. No, with the blonde hair. Oh, the dachshund? No, no, no. With the ears. Oh, the golden retriever. No. The chocolate lab? No. Oh, wait. The miniature pincher... What is that? Chihuahua mix? Thank you. Next to the girl with the... the, uh, the... Oh, the seafoam green jumpsuit. Well, no, it's more like aquamarine. The emerald blue jumpsuit? No, no, no. That's teal. You think that's teal? That yeah. was more like seafoam. No, it's a blue... Uh. Indigo? Dale! Dale! Oh, man! Come on! Excuse me, ma'am. No, stop, 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 stop. Excuse me, ma'am. I just... Oh, off, buddy. Easy, easy. I just need to check the dog. This is official business. Don't kill! Yeah. Do not yeah. kill! Back! Back! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're in public! We're in public! Yes. Hey. Haven't unpacked yet? Is there another bedroom? You and Jesse got a share room for right now, right? Maybe in a couple of months you can get your own room, but only if you're nice to both him and Christina. Why do I have to share a room with him? Yeah. I just thought it would be nice for you guys to do a little bonding. Is that gonna hurt that much? Me? Does that mean Christina? Yes, that does mean Christina. Come on, you gotta understand, I know this is hard for you but I need you to help me with this. I need you to be respectful, okay? You know, the sooner you unpack, the sooner you can play with socks. Thanks for the dog. You're welcome, Leo. And there's, uh, there's something else I gotta tell you. Already? Look, I have to go to San Francisco. Then why do I need to unpack? Because you're not coming with. I need you to stay here. Look, while I'm gone, you're the man of the house, okay? I need you to take care of everything here, and that includes socks. Please? <laughs> Fetch it and bring it back. Come on, boy. Get the frisbee. Come on, boy. Mom! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. No moms. No moms. We don't need any moms brought into this equation, okay? Just you and me. Did you just... Hit you in the head with a frisbee? Yes, I did. Sorry about that. I was gunning for the chest. Let me, let me break it down here for you. The fetch thing? Yeah, I'm not into that. How did you? Right. First time with the whole talking dog thing. Your mind must be blown. Are you an alien dog or something? Alien dog? <laughs> Do I look like Elf? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it's uh, way before your time. You're so cool. I gotta tell my mom. She will never believe me. No. Let's not do that. I can't tell my mom. See, here's the deal, kid. You know, I, I've been around for, you know, a while. And, you know, the adults, they just, they don't get the whole talking dog thing. They faint, pass out. It's a mess. You know that shirtless buff guy from Twilight kind of looks like an Ewok? 
Well, he wet himself when I told him I was a fan. Kids, on the other hand, you, know, you guys accept it pretty quick. That's why I dig you guys. We see eye to eye. You want me to keep this a secret? Exactly. Just you and me. It's like a club. Capiche? Huh? Yes. I would like you to keep it a secret. Okay, you have my word. It'll be our secret. Aces. Ew, I hate roast. I wish we could have pizza tonight instead of yucky roast. No worries, I got your back. <sighs> All right, well, next coming in a little bit, we're gonna leave tonight. All right. I love you, you know. It's a good talk. And you can talk to Christina if you ever need to. Not gonna happen. All right, well, hey, no pressure. I'm just putting it out there, okay? All right, buddy. All right, see you in a sec. San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Should only be a couple hours. I miss you already. I'm oh, sorry, sweetie. Where are the boys? Uh... <laughs> oh, gosh, if only one of them was around, I, I want to make sure that you are protected while I'm gone. <laughs> I can do it, Thomas! Jesse, where'd you come from, buddy? I was over there. I was invisible. Ooh, invisible, huh? You just might be the perfect candidate to take care of your mom then. I'll do my best. All right, I know you will. <laughs> hey, Liam. You gonna say goodbye to your old man before I go? Goodbye. Wow. That's it, huh? Why can't I just go with you? School hasn't started yet. Come on, you need to stay here. All right, you gotta sleep in an actual bed. You gotta get a home cooked meal. Mom's a great cook. You're a baby. You're emotionally unstable. Jesse. Guys, just remember the family knots while I'm gone, okay? Okay, never mind. I'll be back in a couple of days. Okay. All right, you just call me later, okay? Yeah. All right, you two go get washed up for dinner, all right? Mom, I don't want rolls for dinner. How did you know I was making. <laughs> Socks? No! Socks! Socks! No! Socks! Go! Go! Oh, you go! Run socks! Go! Go! Run socks! 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 Go! Run The roast is ruined. Pizza? Gosh, is that the time? I should really get going. I mean, Nick is probably so... Would not want to be you, Socks. <sighs> Love you. <laughs> Honey? Leave. Got it. The doghouse for you, mister. Out. Hey, kid. Why don't you share the wealth a little bit? I like pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, right. Um, my bad. Bad timing. Did you just talk? Yeah, yeah. But my uh, mouth doesn't really work like yours. It's more like a telepathy type I'm going thing. crazy, aren't I? No, you're not crazy. But yes, I am talking. And by the way, you're welcome for the whole peeing thing earlier. Word to the wives. If you ever want two people to stop fighting, just go over and pee on one of them. Works every time. Nice, five second Are rule. Are you sure you should be eating that? Kidding? Dirt covered pizza is the best. Of course, the tummy goes crazy a little later, but eh, I'm a dog. I can go anywhere, if you know what I mean. 
<laughs> Liam! Liam! What kind of dog are you? We'll talk about this later. Oh, what are you guys talking about? Talking? We, we weren't talking. Oh, okay. Well, how long are you going to stay out here? Till Dad comes back. I can't let you do that, you know. Fine. Liam, please understand dogs need to learn discipline. You know, it would really mean a lot to all of us if you could just, you know, hang loose. You know, come back in the house. Hang loose? I can't let you sleep out here, okay? Socks did a bad thing, and when he learns his lesson, maybe he can come back in the house. Maybe? I'm not gonna argue with you about this right now, okay? Come on. So I got kicked out on the first day, buddy. If my dad was here, he'd be nice and warm. Talk to you later. Oh, he took the pizza. Francisco already? No, no, no. We're 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 just getting into the city. Uh, I I got a call from the the director of mental health division at Berkeley. Yeah, everything's lining up. It should be great. That's good. Is everything okay? I uh, yeah. I just um. I. Uh, Sax has already turned me into the bad guy, and um, and Liam, he just. William just wants nothing to do with me. You know, I just, I just want him so desperately to accept me. You know, I just want him to know how much I love him, and that, that's all I care about. It's just... oh, no, it's, it's, hey, say, slow down, slow down. He will, right? I, I, I know he will. It just, it takes a little time to settle in, and, and yeah, I really think socks will make it a lot easier for everybody to get along. You know. So I'll see you soon. Okay. I love you. Good night, Scooter. Is everything all right? I don't know everything's. Do you have any antacids in here? Oh no. <clears throat> Sorry. You... Oh god. Seriously? I told you. Two bowls of chili? <sighs> Two bowls of chili. It was delicious! I don't care. It's it's greasy spoon chili. You can't do that to me. Man. All right, let's go. I I I think I know where we're going. Really? This time. What are you doing? I want to show you something. Follow me. This way. It's in our room. I want to show you. Crutch in your room. I'm sleeping in the guest room. It's going to be my own room once I talk to my dad again. Mom and Dad said we were sharing. My dad, not yours. Thomas said I could call him Dad if I wanted. He didn't mean it. He's just being nice. It's like when someone you care about leaves and they say they wish they could stay, but they don't really. But that's sad. Did that happen to you? No. Forget about it, okay? Just call my dad Thomas. Even Tommy if you like. Just not dad. You sure? Positive. So you're coming? If I come, will you leave me alone? You're gonna love it. Close your eyes. It's not gonna happen. What is this? It's great, right? I figured we could live in the fort tonight. It's cool if I was a baby like you. I'm not a baby, and I know you think it's cool. What? I need a sidekick. Every superhero needs one. First of all, I'm no sidekick. And second of all, you're no superhero. You're mean. Thank you. I don't think I want you in my fort anyway. On second thought, I like this room better. You go sleep in the guest room. 
What if I don't want it? Then I guess the fort comes tumbling down. Just like war, I destroyed your fort. Now the room is mine. Just like socks. That's not fair. Socks is mine too, you know. Nope. He's only mine. That's not fair. Too bad. I know socks better than you do. Trust me. No, you don't. Do so. Do not. Do so. Do not. Do so. Prove it. Never mind. I hate sheets. It's like a never-ending black hole of softness falling on top of you. Socks, how'd you get in here? Christina will kill me if she finds you in here. Yeah, she's a little uptight, huh? Tell your dad to ship her to the spa for a day. Girls love that. Quiet, stuff. boy. You don't want to get in trouble. Don't look at me like that. I'm right on this one, okay? I'm telling you, you don't want to turn out as an emo kid. You only get one color. Walking around wearing black. He's annoying. Me and him aren't gonna work out as brothers. Uh, you know, I knew this guy a long time ago. Long hair, carpenter, nicest guy I ever met. One of the smartest, too. He had these 12 dudes that followed him everywhere, called themselves disciples. Well, these guys screwed up all over the place, and my buddy had to fix their mistakes. My point is that he didn't care how many mistakes they made or how annoying they could be. He loved them and always forgave them. And you know what? He considered them his brothers. Good for that guy. Up, oh, I'm out of here. Yeah, socks. Yeah, nope. Socks. Good night. Come on, yeah, socks. Great talk. Thanks a lot. See you. Fine. I don't need you either. Hey, Liam, wake up. Wake up. Liam, wake up. Wake up. Look go, look go, okay, come on, man. Oh, you want a piece of me too, huh? You think you can take this? Come on, bring that. Both of you think you can take socks here, huh? Yeah, you think you got me? Come on. Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Come on, what do you got? Come on, what do you got? I'm gonna get this, man. I'm gonna get it. It's mine. Now I'm gonna put my whole body into it. Got your nose. Err, what do you weigh? Ten times more than me? You still can't get it from me? Yeah, that's right. You can't get it from socks. I'll be taking this. Yoink! Err, destroy the evidence. No evidence. Nothing here. Nothing to see here. Err, err, err.
right now it says we need to put the window. What's two? We need that little knobby thing. Where's uh, the knobby? Yeah. That's no. It's like so silver. Wait, you need to put the steering Let's, wheel. Well, we don't need a driver per se. You know, they can just you know sit I on guess the, the passenger. And you know, someone can push the pedal. I guess, I guess the passenger needs. Hey. Hi. All right. Look, before you say anything, um, I know it's not perfect or even close to being done yet, but. Jesse and I tried to stay up all night putting this back together for you, and, um, well, you know what, I really just, I don't even know how you do these, because these are impossible. <laughs> wow, that's a difficulty six. I'm mm. impressed. And we know you probably wanted to put it together, so we went out and found another car that we thought you would like to build. It's a Chevy, like the other one. Actually, it's a Ford. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. That was really nice. So, should we have breakfast? I'm on it. And why don't you take over for me, okay? okay. I'll go do what I'm best at doing. Yep. <laughs> Tires are hard. Look, all I'm asking is for my partner here to sniff your dog. No. Come on, kid, it'll only take a second. Here, here, want some candy? My dad told me about people like you and he told me not to trust him. Look, I'm sure he would understand. <clears throat> you see, Dale here is from the FBDI. He wouldn't understand, neither would Rex here. Rex likes to eat people in that way. <sighs> you know what, I think you're right. Let's go, Dale. I'm good, I'm good. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. So tell me why we are one up so early and two working on a Saturday. Because, Howie, we need to find that dog. Okay. You like your job, don't you, Howie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, that dog is the preeminent dog criminal in the nation. Huh? What's pre-permanent? What? You said pre-enema, pre-nuptial, pre- Pre-eminent. Pre yes, that. So what, what's wrong with saying pre-eminent? Nothing, nothing. You just don't seem like the kind of guy that would use that kind of word, pre- uh, Pre- uh... You wanna go over to your side or you wanna drive? My side. <clears throat> You don't seem like the I kind read. of guy that would use the word pre, you know, that's all. Well, I read, okay? I know stuff. What's wrong with that? You read? Yeah, I read. Uh -huh. You got an issue with that? No, no, no. I'm just curious about what a person like you would read. You wouldn't know it. <clears throat> Are you implying that I don't read, sir? I would never. Then what are you reading? Just something I got off the clearance rack at the bookstore, okay? It's no big deal. Well, if it's no big deal, then spill the beans. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a romance novel. What, what, what? I didn't, what? It's a romance novel. Jane Rollins, A Love to Remember. Okay? You can laugh now. Jane Rollins, <laughs> that's rich. <laughs> See, that's why I didn't want to say anything. The love story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, love story. <laughs> Wait, this is the one about the lawyer who falls in love with the death row inmate. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Can we drop it already? No, no, no. He's got about a week to live, and she risks her career <laughs> to save him from dying. <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> How do you know what happens in the book? <clears throat> How do you know what happens in the book, Dale? About the <clears throat> uh -huh. book? Yeah. I'm, uh, uh, we have to focus on something else. No. Far more important. No. First, you tell me how you know what happened in the book. No. First thing is this dog. <clears throat> and in order, look at that. Look at what? That woman, that woman. 
That woman. It's that, uh... It's that Paula Preston with the neighborhood Her, yes, her. You need to talk with her. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe she's seen the dog. Yes, because you're a local, so she would know you. She would understand these... All right, I'll be right back. ...local things. Excuse me! Excuse me! Uh, pardon? Uh, uh hi, uh, Howie Hagelstrom. Uh, animal control, and you... I mean, uh, uh, you, you, you haven't seen this dog, have you? It's missing. Oh, oh, poo. Oh, a misplaced puppy. Poor puppy. Uh, uh, oh, pretty plain pamphlet. <laughs> oh, well, we didn't have a lot to work with, but this dog means a lot to the owner. So if you see anything, just, uh, just give me a call. That's, that's my number. Right there. Um, you can call anytime. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'll <clears throat> keep my peepers patrolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I, I, I have to get back to work, but oh. if you hear anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, what are you listening to? Oh, uh, a Pearl Jam, Prince, and the Police. It's my power walking playlist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I, I have to go. Oh, uh, but uh, seriously, you hear anything? Just let me know. Uh, All right. <laughs> it's gotten into you, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Good workout, what can I say? Did you just do a pirouette? It really tightens up your midsection. You should try it. Yeah. Hey. Hey. What's up? Socks, did you just talk in front of him? You knew about Socks? Yeah, of course I've talked to both of you. I'm surprised you both didn't know. You guys are brothers and you don't talk to each other at all. You should really start acting like brothers. Well, that's why I'm here. I thought that maybe, you know, we could build this one together. Look, I know it was mostly Christina that built that last one. These are really hard to make. Hey, the kid's got smart fingers. He can give you a hand. <laughs> Fingers. And get it? All I'm saying is that these are a lot harder than you think. You'll probably just slow me down. I just wanted to help. Yeah, I know. But you really can't. Really? Jesse's just trying to be your brother? You gotta relax, man. I wasn't trying to be mean. Come on. Come on. Come on, kid. You come in with me. There's something I want you to see. Have a seat right here. Listen for once. It's Liam. He doesn't like me. Of course he likes you, Jesse. That's impossible. He he's mean, and he doesn't want to share socks. He's my dog too, you know. Just give him some time, okay? Liam's a good kid. And if you give him a chance, he's gonna make an even better big brother. You promise? I promise. <laughs> Do you think I'm a good little brother? Mm, only the best little brother ever. <laughs> Sometimes I wish you and me were just happy and back to being family again. Maybe we are family. We just need to um, learn to love each other, that's all. You know, I'm sure it's tough for Liam too, but we just have to stay strong and know it will all work out in the end. Turn off the light! I can't, I'm afraid of the dark. You're afraid of the dark? I know, I'm a baby. 
Trust me, just turn off the light. Okay. Yeah, baby, check me out. Underdog ain't got nothing on me. Have you ever heard the story about the junk men from Mars? Junk men? Oh, those guys. Yeah, they come to Earth and they steal all of Earth's most valuable treasures. Valuable treasures like my mom? Like socks? Bring it on, Grandma Mars. Yeah, but they love everything we love. Except 60 billion times more. Why do they do that? Don't they have good stuff on Mars? Yeah, but not as good as Earth. Earth's got way more cooler stuff than Mars. It's true. I met some guys from Mars. They're very boring people up there. All they want to do is play Minecraft. <laughs> How do we stop them? No one really knows. I could stop them. I fought aliens before. Not like these guys. These guys are really tough and really quick. I'm scared. Can you sleep in here with me? I may be small, but I've got the strength of a gorilla and a bite of a hippopotamus. Yeah, but we gotta take shifts to make sure, you know, they don't come and take socks. Worry about yourself, kid. Or my mom. I'll take first shift. No, you get some rest. I'll take the first shift. Thanks, Liam. This has been the most fun time ever. Here, have a pillow. Get some sleep. Well played. Are we friends now? See? Now you're being cool. Good night, Liam. Good night, Sox. Sox! Sox! Where is that dog? Oh, there you are. Brought you some food. Hmm? Hmm. All right, look. You're still on thin ice with me, mister, okay? But I think I see you working the magic on the boys, so thank you. Come here. <laughs> Mangy butt. Nice breakfast. Hey, you guys good? Yeah. I have some granola too. Uh, Mom, <laughs> last night was so cool. We stayed up all night with socks. Hey, what was that for? Socks was oh. in the house last night? Uh, I didn't let him in. And he kicked me. Then who let him in, hmm? I didn't let him in. Jesse, did you? I didn't let him in, but he got in and I don't know how. Okay, just so we're clear in the future, Sox sleeps in the doghouse, okay? If Sox does something bad, he's in the doghouse. Why are you just saying that to me? I didn't let him in. I'm speaking to both of you. It did kind of look like you were looking at Liam. See? Jesse. I'm just saying, Mom. It goes for both of you, okay? It actually goes for all of us. Sox is, he's, he's all over the place right now. He needs to learn some boundaries. It won't happen again. Liam, I'm not blaming you. It I'm won't just happen again. Could that be? It could be aliens, Mom. I'm coming with you. Come on, man. <laughs> Paula. Paula, oh my. I am so sorry. I completely forgot you were coming this morning. We got a bit of a, a late start. Um, if you, you know what, if you just give me a few minutes, oh, I can just. Oh, please. Proper preparation is paramount. I'll probably pop by later. Oh, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. She's totally an alien. She is the strangest lady ever. Yeah. Was there some way to make her stop coming? I need to push past the beauty parlor and get a perm to prep for the peach pageant. 
Pageant? Oh, it's pretty popular. I participate every year. Socks! How'd you get in here? We need to go back outside. We're gonna get in trouble. Well, that is some dog you've got there. And oh. he's special, and really special. I bet he is really special. Interesting feet on him. They kind of look like socks. Uh, I don't suppose that this happens very often. I've never seen it before, but I suppose things like this do happen every now and then. Anyway, um, I don't think we should have our recipe exchange after all. Good day. You are really in the doghouse now, mister. Who is it? Who is it? I don't know. Well, answer it. I'm answering it. Gosh. Hello? I possibly can point you to the proper place to find that misplaced pop. Paula? Precisely. Could, could you just say that one more time? Precisely. Uh, just, a, just a little gentler this time. Excuse me? Uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Um, perhaps I probably found your pooch. Could, could you just hold on for, for one moment? I think we may have found our dog. Uh, no, 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 not you. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. Hang it. Okay. Okay. Hang it. Yes, yes. Goodbye. We'll, we will see you at that address in like 15 minutes. Goodbye. Okay. Love you. Bye. Oh. <sighs> Start the. Do you think she heard that? She didn't hear that. No, either. no, I think no. Think she probably hung up. No, before that, probably. Right? Yeah, probably definitely. She didn't that. hear it. Come on, over here. Come on, Socks. This way. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, right here. There you go. What is this? What is this? Huh? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What is this doing in here? What is this? Uh, looks like, uh, some bacon. OJ. What coffee. But no sugar. He doesn't like that. But I didn't put it in there. I didn't. I don't know how it got there either. So nobody knows how it got in here. No. Oh, you know. You know what, guys? I know. Why don't we ask Socks how it got here, huh? Come here, boy. Come here. Let me ask you something. Do you know how this got in there, huh? What? what? Oh, you, you can't. You can't tell me what. Why? Why is that? Oh, because he's a dog. I didn't put it in here, and Jesse didn't put it in there. Mom, we were with you the whole time. You know what, boys? I think when your father gets home after his lecture tomorrow night, we're going to have a long talk about this dog. What does that mean, Mom? It means that she's going to take socks away. You can't. You just can't. You guys, it's just really not a good time to have a dog right now, okay? Why? It, it's a lot of responsibility. It's something you guys don't understand. But socks is our family now. We understand. We understand completely. You just don't like him. You say you want to be a family. Nice work, Christine. You... All right, you, got... you guys, Thomas will be home tomorrow night after his lecture, okay? Let's talk about it then, all right? Socks stays out here, okay? He sleeps out here, you guys understand? Now look, I'm sorry, but he needs to learn some boundaries if he has any chance of staying here, okay? Okay. 
Don't worry, guys. She's just blowing off a little steam. No, I'm not going anywhere. That's him. That's him. That's him, all right. Ah. I'd know him if he was dipped in honey and covered in feathers, rolled around lightly floured with some salt. Cinnamon to taste. Oh, they just... Man, I hate to take that dog away from those poor kids. That dog is a criminal mastermind. Who knows what he's planning on doing to those poor, rotten people. Are you sure? He doesn't look that dangerous to me. Of course I'm sure. You know, Howie, I'm beginning to think that you don't have the huevos that it takes, that needs to be done. The huevos rancheros? Huevos grande. Oh, I got the... Look, let's just... Can we just give him one more night together? I mean, we can always come back after lunch tomorrow. Sure. Yeah, sure, Howie. That's a nice idea. <laughs> Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we give them one more night to say goodbye? Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. Don't! Let me go! Let me go! Maybe he just went for a walk or something. I'm sure he'll be back. Socks wouldn't just leave. Yeah, he'd tell us. That he would. Someone must have took him. That, or you got rid of him last night and you didn't tell us. Liam! You know I wouldn't do something like that! Please help us to get Socks back. If you let us have him back, God, I'll be nice to Jesse. He's really not that bad. God, please, I'll, I'll even be nice to Christina. Anything you want me to do, God, I'll do it. I think it'll work. Mom says prayer helps with everything. God, Tommy, it's me. Um, look, I know you're probably on your way to your lecture right now, but something really horrible has happened, and it's about socks, and look, I need your help, like, like now. Okay, please, please call me back. Do you have any idea where we are? Did you see an exit 42? I'm the driver. I'm not supposed to be seeing exit 42. You were supposed to be seeing exit 42. You're the navigator. Or, or, did you see a diner? Because I'm kind of hungry. Or a cactus. There seems to be a cactus in here. Yeah, I, I hate to interrupt because you're on such a roll there, but I think Christina just called you. Oh, no. Tell her I said hi, but not that I got lost. Please? Do it. I know you can do it, so do it. Talk. Talk. Not gonna happen. There. There. Ah. There, you did it. I knew you could do it. And I got it all on camera. 
You do realize that I'm talking to your brain? The camera didn't pick anything up. Liar. Go ahead, play it back then. Maybe I will. Got it all on camera. <laughs> Liar. Liar. Maybe I will. Ooh, the big bad guy's plan is ruined. No, no, it's not. I will show the world your gifts and I will be rich. <clears throat> Genius. Yes, I know. Thank you. And BTW, you will not get anything to eat until you agree to work with me. You know what? I hear you. But um, I already had your sandwich about like 10 minutes ago, so, you know, I'm good for a while. Strong. That was good. <laughs> you didn't use. I'm just so hungry. How did you do that? It's okay, baby. We're gonna find him, all right? We are, guys. We're gonna find him. I just know it, okay? It's okay. Tommy? Howie, I work with local animal control. Oh, good. Oh my god. Have you have you found our dog socks? What do you mean? Did Dale come by? Who's Dale? Well, I have to tell you something about your dog. He's wanted by the FBDI, and Dale was the officer looking for him. FBDI, I don't. Uh, Federal Bureau of Dog Investigations. FBDI? You actually think that that exists? Sounded so professional, I didn't even think that. Look, your partner stole our dog. Where is he? Uh, I, I just got oh, your message. God, What's... Where's Sucks? How about your lecture? No, I don't care about a lecture. A lecture about trying to keep my family together when my own is falling apart. Who's this guy? Uh, uh, dog catcher. He's more than the Oh, no, 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 whoa, 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 what's going on here? We're gonna go find Socks. What happened to Socks? One of the jump men from Mars took him. I with this guy that I was working for uh, to catch what I thought was the nation's most wanted dog criminal was probably lying about everything just so we could steal your dog. I'm an idiot, aren't I? But why Socks? Well, Donald did say that he was pretty special. Who's Donald? So, you've been chasing me for a while now, huh? Like, five years? Seven. 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 Ichi ni sa shi go roku hichi hachi. Seven. On du twa kat sang si set. Seven. Uno, du, tre, quattro, cinque, che, sette. Heinz, fai, hai, fie, fum, seven, ich, lock, seven. Seven. Years. Me. Zzz, you. <clears throat> That's a, that's a commitment there, huh? Five years? Just to make a little money off my gifts? What? What's wrong with wanting money? I'm not buying it. Nope. Sorry. Don't buy it. I think there's a little bit more to it there, Dale. What do you think? Money? What's the real reason? What are you hiding? Stop it. Stop it. Get out of my head. Out of my head. Go. Out. Out. What are you hiding, Dale? Dale, what are you hiding? Come on, Dale. You can Stop tell it. me. Stop. Stop it. I'm Stop really it. Bad. La 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 la. No 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 no. Stop it. Can't hear you. you. No, no go away. Shh. Stop. Way too late for that. Stop. Stop it. Tell me! Stop it! Tell me! Tell me! Because all I ever wanted was a talking dog! Okay? My best friend. My little beagle scooter, he was my best friend, but he couldn't talk. And he. he's. he's 
gone, but you, you'll, you'll live forever and you can talk. You can talk to me. Come on, <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I just wanted a, a best friend. There, there. Oh. No, it's okay, Dale. There, there. Yeah, just rest your head. There, there, Dale. It's all oh. over. I knew there was something off about that guy. It was a smell. He smelled like the Jersey Shore. Oh, no, that's a situation. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it turns out that the FBDI doesn't even exist. I probably should have looked that up earlier. Huh. Socrates. Where is Socrates? Socrates. His name is Socks. Liam, cut him on the slide. How did you know that? Did Socrates tell you that? Uh, guess it just seemed like his name. Yes! This <laughs> typical Socrates, he does it every time! <laughs> oh my gosh, he's such a little rebel. You know, he just loves the way Sock sounds, he just thinks it's so cool. You didn't tell me they found a family for them. Well, uh, uh... Who is this guy again? Are you a junk man from Mars, brother? Oh, no, I don't think I have any brothers from Mars. Did I ever tell you the story of how I met Socrates? Well, he came to me at a very special time in my life when I lost someone I loved. And he came and he mended my heart. You know, I think, I think he's doing the same for you two boys. I have one question for you two. Are you two brothers? Yes. Yes. And you guys know how special soccer socks is. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys love him very much. Yes. Well then, let's go find him. Let's go. right here. Okay, stopping. Left. No, left. Go back. What is that? What, what is where that? Are you, where are you, where are you going? What are you doing? Get back in the... Oh my god. Sorry. I guess he didn't want to be my best friend. Maybe because you stole him. You know, I'm, 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 I'm. It's all right, you guys. Okay, this isn't the end. We're gonna find socks. It takes us all afternoon. We're gonna find him, okay? And I'll stay here. Uh -oh. This lying liar. And make sure the police have a nice chat with him. Uh -uh. If I know socks, and I know him pretty, pretty well, I'd say he's right where he's supposed to be. Well, come on, I'll race you there. Yeah, socks. 
sorry about that there, princess. And there it is. Yeah. What did I tell you about that there, guys? Faint city. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Go easy. Go easy, Christina. Hey, hey. Give me a second. Right there, please? I'm gonna go see an old friend. Donald, I'll be good here. Guys, breakfast is ready. Okay. Breakfast? Church this morning. Let's get a Are move on. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Looks delicious. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to dig in. Yes, please. Yeah, thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll take yeah, some bacon. Oh, did you want some? Eggs. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just take a little. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah. Thank you. Here you go. First breakfast as a family. Mm -hmm. Oops. Give me some of that greasy grub there, baby. Talks. <laughs> Watch it, man. That's my wife you're talking to. Sorry about that. Did he just? Yeah, he did. It's the newest thing in dog technology. <laughs> That's amazing! Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Dogs don't normally talk, right? Well, no. I guess I'm not your average dog there, Thank bucko. You. He drinks so coffee. Right? Mm -hmm. Coffee? He does. Yeah. Oh, don't drink he anything. French that. rose, dark rose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Best White yeah. rose. Okay. Opposable thumbs. It's all good. I like the roses. <laughs> Give me anything that's handpicked by Juan Valdez. No sugar there, babe. No. But if I want something sweet, I'll put you in my coffee. Okay. Could, could I ask you a personal question? Shoot. When we leave the house and we leave the TV on for you, do you like that? Uh, I guess it really depends on the show. You like the doggy channels, right? Animal Planet. <laughs> <laughs> I think we could, uh... Don't get any ideas. Yeah. We don't no. want to... No. 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 What about we already have been dealing with yeah. this dog catcher. They're crazy, so... You could do, like, a TV just... show. No. the best. We don't Trust want a TV us. show. No. Could make a lot of no? money. We mm -hmm. could. We could. We're not going to. Yeah, you know what? I'm more of a radio guy. Oh, uh -huh. there we go. Mm -hmm. When you leave the house, where do you go? I can tell you, then I'd have to bite you. I'm okay with this, but did you wash your paws? Of course I did. I'm no animal. I licked them spotless. Mm. It's kind of gross. Yeah. Part of the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From now on. For the record, I just wanted to let you know, I've been around for a while. I've had a lot of meals with a lot of different people. And there's no other place that I'd rather be than right here with all of you. Now top off my coffee. Oh, is that bacon? Glad oh, I love bacon. Nice. Yeah, I wish it was sausage. Sausage. Well, bacon. I guess he's Can't part of the out. family now. <laughs> Ace.
Look on the bright side. They'll let you read plenty of Jane Rollins in jail. <laughs>